Hey guys, okay, I discovered a number of people are making this uh, simple mistake, the kind of thing that if you're not really familiar with how things go, it's an easy mistake to make. So I figured I'd break this video down and this will stop a lot of the questions that I get that are turning out to be repeat questions. Okay, here we go. Let's say we're just doing a project folder. I'm going to break down four cases here real quick. So say it's a top level domain, okay? So this is like top level dot com whatever it is it's your top level domain it's where we're going to do our project and we're going to do a project right my project which is going to be some major keyword concept and it could be um wisconsin homeopathy okay and what i mean by that is you guys should know already we keep chatting about it all the time but if you don't the notion is we're trying to put in something that's a general theme that relates to uh the pages we're going to create in this run that relates to as close to a generic term as possible without getting too generic okay so it could be anything you know wisconsin homeopathy it could be albuquerque dash dennis so it could be a state with a keyword it could be homeopathy dash wisconsin uh, and i'm intentionally doing that maybe in this case because i'm going to run out a bunch of pages that canvas all the cities in wisconsin might be like 600 cities for all the terms that are related to homeopathy homeopath homeopathy, uh, homeopathic, uh, homeopathic doctor, uh, homeopathic training consultant, whatever it is. Okay. So anyway, what is my point? My point is this, when you're doing this, this is about the easiest kind of a run you can do. And most of you never have problems with this. Uh, some of you do, but it's just a matter of getting used to it. So if that's going to be the case, copy, paste, what do I need to put in here? Okay, this should look wrong because this is the same length as this. And on our recommended hosting, you guys know what that is. The one we recommend, of course, is when you go to Moji Crew. Okay, and I'll just spell it out for a second. Uh, when you go to Moji Crew and you come down here to the resources page, by the way, for those who have not seen this yet, there is a testimonials page. I'm starting to work it up. Uh, I, I just grabbed a few out of emails and threw them in here. <laughs> so I've got some interesting testimonials. Some are copy paste. Some are just copy paste in here because it's easier to do. Uh, whatever. I just started throwing a bunch up. Okay. So these are interesting things. And almost all these images, if you click on them, they blow up. So you can see better what's being talked about in that case. All right. So anyway, here's my point. Back to this. And if we come down here to the resources page, boom, resources. This right here is not getting you throttled when you sign up. Now that's weird. I mean, we have guys in the Moji Crew forums who get really into um, comparing and contrasting different hosting providers. It's very, very cool. And so there's a lot of feedback on very many and people are pooling information and knowledge and so forth. But one that comes up that's pretty interesting is this. Host Monster and Host Gator <coughs> are owned by pretty much the same people and they're set up pretty much the same way. So you get this idea that they must be run pretty much the same. Nevertheless, for whatever reason, this has gone on for years. Um, if you go to HostGator and get an account there and you're trying to do mass uploads, like half your pages won't get uploaded. Only a half fail to upload. The other half might go up. And uh, that's because it's not necessarily that you did anything wrong. I mean, if half your pages are going up, you must have things correct. Uh, however, you know, hopefully your FTP file path is correct, but they're going up. So you got that much to happen, uh, but half are failing. And so why? And the answer is almost always going to be if you use the UAP project, you use our URL breakdown, everything's generically normal. Uh, so you say, why is mine getting treated differently? I mean, you can set up circumstances which would cause the problem for other reasons, like your, uh, you don't have enough URL or enough VARs for the URL breakdown. So half the pages are overriding the other half. But say they all get produced locally on your computer, which of course you can tell because when you run them, it tells you how many got produced successfully. So say all of them got produced successfully. So then you think, why are, why are only half getting uploaded and the other half failing to upload? Unless you made a URL breakdown that's like too big, it's got like really big VARs in it. Oh boy. You see, I want to kind of like not get too carried away with this. But, okay, let's say you did. <laughs> then your some of your files may not be getting uploaded even half because the URLs are too long. You've got too many characters. There's like a 256 character limit to a URL. That means this thing cannot exceed... 256 characters on the upload or at least this part of it uh, going onward 
okay, from the point of your website. Anyway, <laughs> for whatever reason, they seem to run things differently over at HostGator than they do HostMonster. HostGator will throttle you on uploads. If you did everything normally and you upload on HostGator, you'll find half your pages might fail to upload. It may not happen the first time, but it might happen the second time or the third. And then it happens consistently after that, and you think, what the heck is going on? HostMonster does not. So, I don't care if it's the same guys who own them. Maybe they're brothers. Maybe run one runs his department this way and another runs his department that. And they set them up with literally, uh, you know, slightly different arrangements, different business parameters. And maybe because they do the reseller accounts at HostGator and stuff, they have to be more mindful of mass uploads. Or the market's just somehow coming out differently and everyone's trying to mass upload, um, you know, pirated music and videos all the time and, and they have to watch out for that because somehow they're just getting hit. I don't know. Uh, what I do know is people coming through this link are not getting throttled. It's the one reason we keep it up. Four years in the making and guys still tell me today they had a HostGator account, they were getting throttled, they get the HostMonster account, they quit getting throttled. All right, so this is the link we recommend all the time. And then the other thing that makes that an advantage is simply that now what we teach you applies specifically the same way. Okay, so take a look. FTPtoplevel.com slash. Now, what do I need here? Because again, like I said, this should look funny to you if you're using the default FTP information. Default username, default pass, whatever it was. Okay, you just created the hosting account with your top level domain and you've got your default FTP access is going to connect by default right to the top level here of that top level domain. And that's even outside of where we want it for our purposes, which is this public underscore HTML, right? Boom. Okay. That should look right to you. This should look right. This is longer than this, which should look right <laughs> for a default FTP access, which we do recommend using all the time on all your runs. So you don't have to try to jerry rig new FTPs and make sure you get everything right. If I created a new FTP user, it may already connect into the public HTML folder. So I may have to pull it out. Now, the way I see it, that's just too much work. It's too complex and it's unnecessary. You want to always use the same user, same pass for 50 versions of the profile you create for this run. So you always want to follow the same rules so you never get confused on these things. You don't have to keep notes about where they connect. You can just use the standard for everything. All right, anyway, that's how it works for projects. We all know that, okay? And when you run this thing out, then it will automatically generate the appropriate folder and automatically put all the pages into it. No hassles. You don't have to hop on the control panel and do anything for that. But let's say we want to go the extra mile of making this an even stronger project. Now, first of all, you cannot do it with the same index page. Okay, that is a project folder right here. So there must, and that means on the index page for this thing, there is a project token on the pages. But let's say we create our subdomain version of the page or you're using the V3, which has one already. Okay, it has the index-subdomains.html, which has all the project tokens taken out. And what are you going to do? You're going to make it this. Instead of www. we're going to have something else. We're going to have exactly that. We want to make that happen. Wisconsin-homeopathy.toplevel-domain.com, right? That's what that means, toplevel.com. It means top-level domain, okay? All right, well, fine. Then for FTP, it's the same thing. Toplevelldomain.com slash public underscore uh, HTML slash whatever name you gave to that folder. That, that subdomain is going to be assigned a folder. And let's say it is this folder. Let's say that was my idea here. It could be anything else. It could be ABC123. There's not an SEO version to make it one thing versus another because our sitemap pages will be produced using this all the time you know, for this kind of a run, a run that uses this information. That's very good. But here's what I want to point out. If I'm going to create this, and let me just show you so you can see the difference here. And if I log in to that Moji samples, another thing that you find on the resources page is RoboForm. Ain't that awesome? I don't have to copy paste um, passwords from anywhere. They're just auto saved on my computer. Now, let's take a look. If I went down to the subdomains, right, not add-on domains, subdomains okay because I'm doing this on my top level domain here 
what are add-on domains and that's what we're going to get to next if you go to domain manager you'll find i created one okay look the primary is moji dash samples okay you can like expand this out or you can't but it's in there and then the add-on domain is moji dash opportunities.com now watch this if i highlight this it will tell me the folder it belongs to in my public underscore html folder right so it's moji opportunities no dash just it suggested that when I was creating this add-on domain and I said okay go with it I like it because I can remember that easily you might do something else you might make it moji dash opportunities just so you remember that it has a dash in it depends um, anyway alright so having said that though my point is gonna be this my point is gonna be for the um, okay when you go to the C panel <laughs> Let me get back to where I was. I've got a bunch of things I want to cover today. All right, we come down. Subdomains, okay? I'm going to hit that thing. And I'm going to create my whatever it was subdomain. Wisconsin-homeopathy.moji-samples.com. Now, now that I have it in here, if I click off, look at that. It already suggests where it should go. Wisconsin-homeopathy. Well, why not? That's easy for me to remember and use. And I know that's what it means public underscore html slash wisconsin dash homeopathy that's what i see here public underscore html slash wisconsin dash homeopathy now that all makes sense and i can create this thing here is where people get screwed up and this is what i want to show you because this is an easy and common mistake that people make let me show you let's say I was not doing this on my top level domain anymore so I'm not gonna do this on moji-samples.com I'm gonna do it on moji-opportunities.com which in my case is my uh, add-on domain so now what do I have to think about okay well here we go let's do this it needs to be this way up here because this is where the projects gonna be the sitemaps get made from this so it has to be correct Wisconsin dash show me up the dash moji-opportunities.com fine so down here that's my top level domain so I'm gonna put that first of all Boop. and then what oh I'm sorry haha <laughs> you should catch me in the act and laugh about it right no for the default the top level has to be the top level domain sorry and then you get into your public underscore HTML now that takes me to the root but what do we know again that our Moji Opportunities had an add-on domain it was assigned to called Moji Opportunities. It even tells you here, Moji-Opportunities, it just makes it a subdomain by default, but the regular place for it anyway, to go to Moji-Opportunities.com, you have to come into here, right? Your pages must belong inside that Moji Opportunities folder. So watch, that would have to go in my Moji Opportunities folder. And then I got my Wisconsin dash homeopathy. So let's see. Moji dash samples.com, public underscore HTML, Moji opportunity subfolder with finally Wisconsin dash homeopathy is going to be the folder I assigned the subdomain for that add on domain. Okay. Subdomain on an add on domain. <clears throat> and the reason I must come through the top. I cannot shortcut. I cannot just go moji-opportunities.com slash wisconsin-homeopathy because this user I'm using is my default user and it always must come in through the top and on down from there. All right, here's where the mistake gets made. People say, well, I think I've done this, but the pages aren't coming out right and I'm sure I got it right. Isn't it right? What we find is this. Let's say you were going to do it. wisconsin homeopathy dot Let's do the subdomain, moji-opportunities.com. Not this one, but this one. Bam. And you think that has to be right. And you click off, and guess what? It fills this thing in. And I mean, I can do it from scratch. Boom, boom. Click off. All right, now it doesn't want to do it. But that's what it would do. It would throw this in here. What's the problem? This is public underscore HTML. Where's my add-on domain folder? Where is my Moji Opportunities folder? That's it. That's where the mistake is. The pages have to be put in the right place. Okay? It's got to be Moji Opportunities. Hello, Tunities slash Wisconsin dash homeopathy. Now that matches and that is correct. 
That way all our sitemaps and everything can work. Moji-samples.com slash public underscore HTML slash Moji opportunity slash Wisconsin dash homeopathy. Okay. That's what should be here. Moji opportunity slash Wisconsin dash homeopathy. Create that. Then your subdomains on your add-on domains will work because everything that this has to do is to create the... Um, it's got to create the right sitemap. It has to get the files in the right place to coordinate it. And it has to know how to put the Moji uh, sitemap, the Moji-sitemap.html page, one level up from the project, which would be right there in the root of Moji-opportunities.com, actually. Because that's what this represents. This represents the root folder for www right like that but remember you must always use a project either you have it here or you have it at the end but there has to be a project somebody said why <laughs> the answer is we don't want to get sued because people are overwriting their front pages because they jumped one step ahead and got something wrong and overwrote their front pages okay we have doctors dentists, lawyers lawyers, <laughs> dentists, doctors, homeopaths, whoever else. We do runs on everybody's sites. And to protect ourselves and to protect you as well, we require that you get the pages in the right place. Okay? And that's why you need project folders. That's important. So there's always this bit about project folders. And that's why they need to be created. And then some people say, well, how do you create a main page for your site? Because they just straight forgot. So all I want to do right now is just remind you where that is. If you go here and you don't have a front page on your website and you said, I don't get it. All the pages I did showed up inside my project, but what about my home page? Well, here's the answer. Go down here to where it says, where does it say? <laughs> it says, yeah, front page updates. Making corrections easily on front page updates. And if you go in there, says create an index page for your new website that is the video that explains it uses the old v1 v2 to explain it but the concept is identical it's really easy to understand people watch this immediately understand what's going on piece of cake okay that's it for the point i want to make about that and so that's this video i got more to do i'll do more all right talk to you soon